Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. We're going to update. It's panning cats and dogs. I am just a teeny bit late on this update, but um, I had a lot going on and I didn't have time to update and now I'm trying to play catch up. This is the only one I think I'm going to late post. Everything else is just going to try and go up like when it goes up. Um, summer is is coming it's here actually <laughs> and I'm already feeling like the cake makeup when I go outside it feels like it's melting off my skin I can't wipe my forehead because then like you'll see a strip of like my skin underneath <laughs> so it's like um I'm gonna be slowing down just a hint on my usages that being said I work at home during the day so um I go out for brief periods to go for a walk on one of my breaks or I'll go and water my plants. Um, I don't do much with my breaks. I just make sure I get outside and then I get some clarity. So um, I will be still using makeup, of course, during the week. But when I go out and stuff, it's going to be a lot lighter, like a tinted moisturizer and um, like maybe just eyes and brows done and a little lipstick, but the rest will be like super light. So the usages are going to get a little lighter <laughs> for the next couple of months. So I just want to fair warn you guys. Um, but I still, I'll still rock it. I'll still do what I can with my makeup. If I have to wash my face later, I'll just do that. But, um, let's go ahead and update. It's panning cats and dogs. This was created by Deb from Deb B and Danny from Danny's makeup. I'm going to yawn. Oh my gosh. I'm trying so hard not to yawn, but I don't know why I'm so tired. Okay, so Debbie and Danny from Danny's Makeup. And this is a roulette style project pan where you select six prompts and there are monthly updates and it is all about cats and dogs. And it is so cute. It updates on October 22nd or of course the 22nd of every month, but it's from October 22nd, 2023 to October 22nd, 2024, because October 22nd, <laughs> October 22nd, oh my God, how many times can I say that is National Make a Dogs Day. So super cute. Okay. Um, so helping, pa helping pause. Oh my gosh. Helping Paws is donate to your local animal shelter. I have a f huge bag full of blankets, baby blankets, big blankets, everything. And I'm so trying not to yawn. This fan is blowing in my face. It's just, I need it blowing in here and it makes me yawn. Okay. Um, so I have a huge bag full of blankets and I intend to bring that. It's just, I have not had an opportunity to take it. So I'm hoping in the next couple of months, like June, no, J June is almost over. So July, um, August, I'll try and take it in those months. The next one is balls or toys, which is something that always rolls away. And I put in my eyeliner, which has rolled off the floor, like I don't know how many times or onto the floor, I should say. And my goal is to complete this. I'm not sure I'm going to complete it by October, but I definitely want to put in the work. I love this so much. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite aligners of all time. Um, I just wish the point stayed more because it's an expensive product that I wish that I didn't have to waste so much just to get that point all the time, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a liner. It's bound to get the rounded edge on it. So I do what I can do, but the goal is to complete it. Next is emotional supports or service animal. And this is a product that never lets you down, which is honestly the cutest prompt. And I brought in the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer in the shade 2N. And my goal is to use this 15 times. You can see I got a good dip going in this. And I've already used it 21 times. So this can roll out. I don't want to roll it out, but I'm going to. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I am going to buy a darker shade. Because 2N is great for summer, but I want um, for winter, but I want a shade that I can wear in the summer and fall months. So that one will go back into my collection. Next is Lab Retriever, which is a product that you hunted down. And I brought in the Glam Light and Chucky Blush Duo. Let me put it on this side. Um, and this has two blushes in it. One is a pink and one is more of a peach or coral. And so far I have, I want to use them eight times each. This one I've used three times. This one I've used twice. So, and it's not like if I go back in and like keep reapplying, that's not, that's just all one use. Okay. So I still have quite a little bit of ways to go on that and I have tons of blush. So I feel like that's going to be in for like the whole rest of the project. 
Next is Black Cat, which is black packaging product or black owned makeup brand or something that you feel lucky to own. And I brought in the Tarte Maneater Mascara Deluxe Eye Sample. And I really like this, but I won't purchase a full size, but I really do like this. I do have some of it on today, but my the length of my lashes is not showing as much as I would prefer. And I have the Tinted Doll from uh, Lancome. And I'm not a huge fan of that. I thought I would be a great fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But this one is really good. Um, so that one I still have a couple more uses on. I'm sure it will roll out by the next update though. Then we have Agility Practice to Use. And I brought in the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Now I will be decluttering this because it did nothing but flake all over my eyes. And every time I blinked it would crack and it would fall. So this is going, you can see I've used it a lot, but I'm very disappointed in this product. So I will not be repurchasing it and I am going to be throwing that out. And now I'm bringing in two products to replace the eyeliner and the Dior concealer. So the first prompt is long haired cat, uh, favorite hair product. And I'm bringing in just a, a product. I'm not bringing in a favorite one, but this is the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Cause I need heat protectant all the time. I have bleached hair underneath all of this um, copper color and I blow dry my hair every time I wash my hair. And I use a lot of styling products now because I have these like somewhat curtain bang things going on so i use a lot of blow dry and styling products and um not even products but tools like styling tools so i wanted to use that so i will try to complete that and then i have catitude which is makes you feel sassy and i brought in a blush which is from bare minerals it's the gen nude bronzer in kiss of spice and i recently just picked this up because it went on half price at shoppers drug mart and the reason i'm bringing this in is because it is summer and i wanted a bronzy blush don't get me wrong i love the pink it's my favorite but i wanted a really beautiful bronzy blush just for my cheeks so i'm very excited to be able to try that can you even see that let me do another little it's so pretty. It's kind of got a little hint of golden peach to it, but yeah, really pretty. And I cannot wait to use that one. So I will be bringing that in for five uses. That is everything for this update. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.